Say something right quick. I think back on the African American people in America. I think how that they were taken against their wills, put in the belly of ships, brought over here, beat, cussed. Many of them died in the guts of those ships, thrown overboard. They were pulled from families over there. You ain't never heard a gut-wrenching song do you hear a black person sing one of those old black Negro spirituals. Nobody knows. I can't sing it like that, see, because I hadn't experienced what they be. When you've experienced hell, it comes out of the voice. I said, when you experience hell, it comes out of the voice. If you're one of those people that you got problem with black people or whatever, you better shut your mouth because they're God's people. You better hear what I'm saying to you. You better, shut your, you better shut your white mouth. You better shut your white mouth. I'm not kidding you. I know some of you is raised in the deep south and you is raised by prejudiced people and bigoted people. You better get that out of your system. You better get it out of your system. It'll cause you to suffer right along with those masters. It'll cause you to suffer right along with them. These are God's people. And I know that there's wicked and white races and wicked and black races and all that. I'm not justifying none of that stuff. I'm just saying God knows what happened to the black race. He knows how they wound up over here. And God is going to re reimburse the black people for all their trouble and all their labor. You watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. You see, we way far past watching your mouth at this point. You know, the most I say, he who touches you touches the apple of my eye. So we have to understand, you know, all the rape, rob, murder, atrocities, butt breaking, alligator feeding, murdering, bloodshedding of the Israelites. We way far past you just watching your mouth. Like the damage is done. The damage is good and done. You know, there's no way to repair that. And even when, you know, our people ask for reparations, no, that's money that's due to us. Those are due wages. That's not reparation. In order to give us reparation, you will have to repair us in such a state that we were in before you took us into captivity, which you're not able to do that. Only the Most High can restore the children of Israel and repair what was how we was broke down the strip. You're not able to do that. So we far beyond you just watching your mouth. The damage is already done. Revelations 18 and 5, it says, For her sins have reached up to heaven, and God have remembered her iniquity. So he's remembering everything that you've done to the children of Israel. Y'all have to pay. Every nationality of people that had their hand in slavery is going to have to pay. The Most High is remembering what you have done to us, to the children of Israel. So you don't get to just destroy a whole nation of people strip them of everything they have break them down down rob murder and give them a false idol to worship for 400 almost 500 years and then say oh we see the wrath of the lord approaching let us watch our mouths no we far past that this is revelations 22 and 11 it say he that is unjust let him be unjust still and he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. So you can't discern the times that the wrath of the Most High is getting ready to come upon you and every na nation of people that had that played a role in slavery had their hand in slavery. And then say, oh, let's watch ourselves. No, the damage is already done. And our blood is crying out. It's been crying out. And the Most High, he hears. This is Psalms 9 and 12. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forget not the cry of the humble. So the Most High, he's not going to forget his children. He's not going to forget our cries. He's hearing our cries and he's remembering. So as for the children of Israel, we have to repent, turn back to the Most High, and begin to keep his law, statutes, and commandments. And for the nations, prepare for the Lord's wrath. Shalom.